We have some good baseball in store. It'll be the San Diego Padres taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers at Dodger Stadium. And it happens here on 2K Sports. You get a look at baseball's familiar Dodger Stadium and a great place for baseball. That's where we are today. And a look there at Hanley Ramirez, no doubt, getting ready to use that bat. Major League Baseball and 2K Sports. Gary Thorne, John Crockett, Steve Phillips. The starting pitcher, Clayton Kershaw. So, Steve, what does he hope he has in store for these San Diego hitters? Well, a guy like Clayton Kershaw is going to use his best stuff to just attack the hitters with a fastball in the mid-90s and a curveball that just falls off the table. He is unhittable at times for lefties and righties. Now we have a moment to take a look at the lineup for the Padres. Scouting pick, John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, Cameron Maven's finally starting to live up to those expectations of when he came out of high school in the draft. A guy who had a lot of potential, speed, power. It's now starting to catch up. Once he diminishes his strikeouts a little more than what he does and makes more contact, the sky's the limit, athletic-wise, for Cameron Maven. We've got El Monte in the box. First pitch coming up. Left fielder, number 16, Abraham Almonte. Kershaw with the windup. He swings one. on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. You know, typically he comes back with an 0-1 fastball. As a hitter, you've got to sit on that pitch and look to drive it. He swings and drives this one. The catch is made. I'll show you how the Dodgers are lined up around the field. Highlights, John, from these fielders. Well, Carl Crawford, to me, is a guy you have to keep your eye on. We all know that speed steals a lot of bases and help you offensively, but it can also help you defensively, and Crawford uses his speed to the best of his ability. And it's Lariano batting. That's a good rivalry, Dodgers and Padres. And last year, Dodgers, despite the struggled season, won 13 out of the 18 games with dominance in the Southern California. Oh! He fouls that one off. Dodgers dominance Steve was talking about against San Diego. Played out late in the year when L.A. won 10 of the last 12, John. Well, Clayton Kershaw headed for the middle. That one gets through for a base hit. Now well, he did his job the right there, getting on base. Now with one out, let's see if they can move him around and get him in scoring position. Up now their rookie third baseman. When we look at how Kershaw was able to dominate the National League in 2011, not a big surprise he was named the National League Cy Young Award winner. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. But Kershaw earning that Cy Young Award. He has pitched a sub-300 ERA last three seasons. A lot of strikeouts. He earned it. I mean, and he won the award at 23 years old. He's young, and believe it or not, he's going to get better, which has to scare the rest of the league. He heads all the way back to the warning track and gets the out. There's a real fine inning. Clayton Kershaw works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. And first chance coming up for the... Our starting pitcher for San Diego. Here's a look. Steve, what do you think his strategy is going to be against this Dodger lineup? A well, tough matchup for this right-hander on the mound against this lineup. So he's going to have to really overachieve a bit today and really execute his pitches and elevate the level of his performance to be successful. The pitch. That's it fouled oh. by Gordon. Yeah. And he can't pull the trigger. D. Gordon is out of there. That's going to be a strikeout. Well, a great job getting an 0-2. That third pitch, unhittable. Guess he figured why waste a pitch, save the arm. He did. Nice job. Now, let's see what Don Mattingly's got in the lineup today. So, who are you looking at, John? Well, all these young, athletic, talented players in all of baseball, and Henry Ramirez has to be near the top of that list. His power, his speed, he can do a lot of different things. He needs to shore up his defense a little bit, but with his bat, he rates right up there offensively with anyone. Starts him out with a change up for a strike. Well, to say the least, the 2011 season, a bit of a soap opera for the Dodgers. Not on the field as much, but upstairs, the owner's situation, bankruptcy, right so much going on. It had to be a distraction for this team. Oh. And 
and this is bounced foul to the left side. Those ownership issues regarding the Dodgers, thankfully, are being resolved, and hopefully uh, L.A. can get back to baseball. And look, it's a transition time. There's no question about that. The challenge will be for the players to focus what's going on in the field and let everything else stay on the outside. That's a pretty fast pitch right there, and hard to get that much break on it. Here we've got a moment. Let's quickly take a look at the Padres and their lineup on the field. And, John, how about uh, individual factors out there? Well, he's a very tall outfielder. Cameron Maben is a guy that you love to watch play. So smooth in the outfield. And, you know, to say smooth, that means he takes long, loping strides. He covers a tremendous amount of ground in such a short period of time. Oh. He can rob home runs. He's not afraid to run in the wall. His height gives him that advantage to go over those walls. And you've got to love the fact that he plays a shallower center field because he knows oh. he can go back and get anything. Here it comes. You're out. And he catches Adrian Gonzalez. Caught him looking for strike three. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. Still scoreless in L.A. Five, six, seven hitters to get things started. And their catcher at the plate. He'll start it off here in the second. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And Crawford picks it up. Well, as a hitter, you see the outfielder swung around to right field, and you have to think to yourself, if I can only hit it to left. He got it there, but it didn't quite fall in. And their number six hitter. Well, the road, a very tough place for the Padres last year. They got swept five different series, and they, at one point, swing and a high drive to straightaway left field to the wall. And goodbye. Home run for the Padres. They are on the board. The first run of the ball game. You love to get that on the big fly ball and a one nothing lead. One away as Cameron Maven will get set. Padres, of course, play in a huge ballpark, uh, Petco Park at home. A team that has to be designed for a big park like that. Maybe, John, that's the reason they don't play. That one's drilled to short. Two away. And Amarista settles in. Hit sharply towards the hole. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. All right, first run of the game. It comes here in the second. The Padres lead one to nothing. Beautiful night. Sights and sounds of Los Angeles, Dodger Stadium. Very nice breeze coming through here. And it's Hanley Ramirez at the plate. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. No, not in time. Close plays at first. So Kyle Crawford will come up next. Well, as a pitcher, there's absolutely nothing you can do about this. You hate these type of hits, but he makes a great pitch. The ball just hit in an absolute perfect spot where no one can get to it in time to beat him on the throw to first. Hit in the air, in right, foul territory. One away. And Matt Kemp digs in with one up. Well, Matt Kent just missed on becoming the fifth member of the 40-40 club last season. Missed the mark by one home run, ending up with 39 and 40 stolen bases. First pitch, a sinker in there, 0 and 1. And for Kemp, he had these stolen bases with almost two weeks left in the season. And uh, just Strike getting the two. home run total up was what he was after to get that 40-40. He certainly did everything he could. He got to that 40th stolen base. He was six home runs away with 10 games left in the season. It came up just one home run short. But what an unbelievable season for Kemp. Two away. And he'll have to hold at first. Coming to bat for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Third base. And in the batter's Number box, five. it's a rebate. A 272 lifetime average against the Padres. Ramirez takes his lead at first. Here's the pitch. And it's a called strike to a rebate. 
That fastball just froze him on the inside corner. Now we're going to see where he goes. Look for something soft, possibly away. Ground ball up the middle. Oh. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. Padres still on top. Bottom part of the order will get their chance offensively. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Cruck, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Kershaw with a windup. This one hit, and a long foul ball down the left side. Oh. Line shot into center field. And in there, that'll be a base hit for the opposing pitcher. That hurts if you're on the mound. Well, you know what? I've seen better swings in a park, but the pitcher able to pick up a base hit right there. And, hey, nothing like helping yourself. We've got El Monte in the box. Going to take a brief moment here to check out the breakdown on this pitcher's pitch types that have turned into hits today. He sends this one in the air towards center. That's one down. At the plate for the San Diego Padres. Right fielder, number seven. And it's Lariano batting. So far, a one for one in the game off first shot. Well, I think you got to be looking for a two seam fastball here. You got to hit off of it the last. Swing and a line at a right center. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. A plate, terrific opportunity San here for San Diego. Opposite field hitting. It is a classic piece of baseball. Especially on that inside pitch. It keeps the defense off guard when you can muscle the inside pitch to right field. Two down here in the inning. And they'll try and hold the runners second and first. They stay. He's got a shot of getting out of this now. Big time out. Now he's got two down. He's only one out away from working out of this jam. Up now, their second baseman. Last time up, blew up. That swung on, line towards the gap in left center. And Crawford puts that away to retire the side. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. And the Dodgers, their turn coming up. It's going to be Ellis now. A 235 career average off San Diego. Takes that one on the inside corner. Strike one. Well, the pitcher's executing his game plan. He knows these hitters. He knows how he wants to pitch them. And now he's locating his pitches in exactly the right spot. Hit in the air to center field. Oh, and Maven comes up with that beautiful play. You never know what you're going to see ahead of us, but Steve, i got a feeling that could be our defensive play of the game. Well, it's about preparation. He was preparing for the pitch. He saw it come off the bat, and that first step allowed him to make the catch. It's Kershaw at the plate. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. Here's the pitch. 0-1 is a sinker in there, called strike. A good sinking movement on that pitch, right on the black, away from the hitter. Tough pitch to hit. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. Now you can hang laundry on that one, 94 miles per hour, pretty good velocity, but... That's pretty straight. And he only got to see three pitches. Now, unhittable pitches, but he saw them nonetheless. Boy, that's a tough at bat for the hitter. He's got to walk away almost before he even got there. And in the batter's box, it's Gordon. Batting just 192 lifetime against San Diego. First pitch was a strike, 0-1 now. But well, when you throw the fastball, that's where you want it to go. Now you can elevate a pitch next time around. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. That's caught. Side is retired. It's the kind of inning the defense likes. Three up, three down. The Dodgers unable to get on the board. 